Okay, we're going to take a look at dividing polynomials today. Now, I'm going to be honest. This is a section students struggle with. So let's first refresh our memory of dividing with the little house. So let's say we're doing 5 into 322. So in other words, 322 divided by 5. Well, if you remember, we do 5 into 3. Oh, it doesn't go. 5 into 32. So we put a 6 here. We then do 6 times 5. We multiply these two numbers, 6 times 5. And then we write 30 right below it because 6 times 5 is 30. We subtract. I do 32 minus 30, which is 2. Now, basically, I bring down my next number, and I start the process all over again. I start over. Just like we did 5 into 32, we now do 5 into 22, which goes 4 times. 4 times 5 is 20. We subtract. I have a remainder of 2. We sometimes put remainder of 2, or we normally would put 2 over the 5, 2 fifths. That's how we end up doing division. If you remember back from maybe fifth grade, uh, probably. So now what we want to do is we want to do it with polynomials. Okay. So I have 3x minus 2 going into 9x minus 6. Now, here's the key. We're always just going to focus on this piece here. Okay. We're going to say, hey, that 3x goes into 9x how many times? That's what we're going to concentrate on. So in this case, 3x times what gives you 9x? That's all I have to think. 3x times 3. And now I'll simply go 3 times the 3x is 9x. And then I also have to do 3 times that 2, which is minus 6. And then I subtract this whole thing. Now notice a 9x minus 6 minus a 9x minus 6 leaves you with nothing. Okay, it all goes away. So the answer there is it goes into it a perfect three times. It's not even a remainder. That's not going to happen for most of the problems we do. Let's take a look at this one now. So, and this is going to be your typical problem that you're always going to see. I have, I'll concentrate on this number X going into X squared. Now, X times what would give you X squared? An X. So I just put an X right here. And then I go x times each of these pieces. x times x is x squared. x times that 2 is plus 2x. Now, this is where the mistake occurs. You must remember that we must subtract this entire thing. So I have x squared minus x squared. That goes away. But what about a negative 2x minus? That 2x right inside there becomes a negative, doesn't it? So it's negative 2x minus a 2x, that gives you negative 4x. Okay, that's where the mistake's going to occur because a lot of you are just going to put it together. Remember, it's subtracting this whole thing. So that right there becomes a negative. And a negative 2x with a negative 2x is negative 4x. Now, we subtracted. What did we do back here? After we brought him down, we brought him down and then started the problem over again after we had subtracted. So... We're going to bring this minus 8 down and start the problem over again. We say, hey, x goes into negative 4x how many times? Well, negative 4 times. Negative 4 times that x is negative 4x. Negative 4 times that 2 is negative 8. When we subtract the whole thing, you can imagine that minus negative changes this to a plus. Those go away. And that minus negative changes him to a plus, and those go away. So here there is no remainder. Basically, it means the quantity x plus 2 times the quantity x minus 4 gives you x squared minus 2x minus 8. This just takes a little bit of practice. Okay, we say to ourselves, n times what gives me 8n squared? Well, that's going to be 8n. And I'll do 8n times n, that's 8n squared. 8n times the 3 is 24n. Remember, I'm subtracting the whole thing. So 8n squared minus 8n squared goes away. 7n minus 24n. Okay, That gives you what? Negative 17n. I then bring my plus 1 down and I say, start all over again. n times what gives me negative 17n? That'd be negative 17 17 times n is negative 17n. Negative 17 times 3 
Well, I think a 20 times three and then go back nine. Uh, 20 times three, six, so it's 51. So this is going to be minus 51 is what we're going to have here. And remember, we're subtracting the whole thing. So that minus minus here becomes plus. Those go away. Positive one minus negative 51. Well, that's going to be like a positive 51. So we have a remainder here of 52 because it's one minus a negative 51. So we have a remainder of 52. So we simply write plus 52 over this outside number in plus three. Another typical problem. Start off n goes into n squared how many times? n times. n times n is n squared. n times the nine is nine n. I now must subtract the whole thing. n squared minus n squared goes away. Seven n minus a nine n, that's negative two n. I then bring down my plus six and I start the problem all over again. n times what gives you negative two n? A negative two. Negative two times the n is negative two n. Negative two times that nine is negative 18. And I must subtract the whole thing. Negative two n minus a negative two n. Well, that changes to plus two n, so it goes away. Six minus a negative 18. Well, minus a negative 18 changes to plus 18, which leaves us a remainder of positive 24. So the remainder is plus 24 over n plus 9, simply the outside piece right here. It's always the remainder over top of that outside piece. Hmm, this guy looks a bit weird. Okay, notice there's things missing. Notice you have x cubed, but how many x squareds do you have? None. How many x's do you have? None. To do this problem, you must start. If you're missing a piece of the x's, you must put them in there. So I have x cubed plus no x squareds plus no x's plus the number 8. Okay? That's how we have to do this. Now we start the problem. x times what gives you x cubed? That's an x squared. X squared times X, X cubed. X squared times the two, two X squared. I now subtract the whole thing. X cubed minus X cubed goes away. Zero X squared minus two X squared is negative two X squared. I then bring down my zero X, start the problem all over again. X times what gives you negative two X squared? Well, that's a minus two X. Negative two X times that X, negative two X squared. Negative 2x times the plus 2 there, minus 4x. Again, subtract the whole thing. This minus negative will change to plus, and those will just go away. 0x minus a negative 4x, where that minus negative changes to plus 4x, so I get a positive 4x. I then bring down the next number and start all over again. x goes into 4x. 4 times. 4 times x is 4x. 4 times that 2 is a positive 8. You subtract the whole thing. There's no remainder here. The reason why is x plus 2 times x squared minus 2x plus 4 gives you that answer of x cubed plus 8. All right. There is a breakdown of dividing polynomials. Remember, you also have me doing on the homework. I've done every one of them for you. So you have that also to help you out. 